So this is the first video in Linux Basics. This video is one of many meant for a brand new Linux user. Most of the time I will gear all this content on Linux Basics series uh, after those coming from Windows. So in this video we're talking about distributions and I'm going to try and break down some of the most obvious things that most Linux users know but coming from Windows just aren't really that obvious. So with distributions, there's a ton of them. And when I say a ton, I do mean a lot. I've done many videos over distributions, but in this one, let's just talk about what that is. Right now, a distribution, and this is an oversimplification, is basically, uh, think of Windows. I would call Windows a distribution because it comes with a whole bunch of different pieces of software that bundle together to make uh, a functional system. Well, much like that, Linux has its own set. However, Linux takes a different approach than the Windows counterpart. Uh, Windows, everything's just how it is, and you really don't have much say in it until after you get in, and then you can install more stuff, but a lot of the stuff that's there is static and you really can't change, such as title bars, desktop environment. These types of things are just kind of there. Now, in Linux, it varies from distribution to distribution on actually the look and feel. Now, most distributions for Windows users always recommend Linux Mint that gives it more of that Windows-esque feel and then also Pop OS which uses a different, whole different look and feel called GNOME or GNOME by some of Linux vets. And this is a desktop environment whereas uh, Linux Mint uses Cinnamon. So uh, Cinnamon emulates a lot of the Windows look and feel. So there's two different things here, but they both all in the end do the same thing because Linux is Linux, just like Windows is Windows. So with distributions, uh, you get all these different flavors. And I would never say one's better than another. There's so many out there that everyone's always making top five distributions and which one to do which. And it really just depends on your needs because depending on who you are, one distribution will probably end up being a better starting point than another. I always say they just simply don't matter once you learn Linux. And that's pretty much true. It's just a distribution's where you start, where what all comes with it, what all settings are on it, those types of things. So let's break down the parts of a distribution really fast. I already kind of mentioned the look and feel, which is the desktop environment. Now, Pop! OS has GNOME or GNOME, and then also you have over on this side, Linux Mint, which has Cinnamon, which is that uh, Windows-esque kind of look and feel. And then you have a whole bunch of uh, in-betweens. You have XFCE, which is more bare bones and out of the box is rather ugly, but with some customization, you can get it to be very pretty. And I've done a video over that as well. And then my personal favorite desktop environment is KDE. Uh, I think it's even a better Windows look and feel and has even better customization options than most out there, especially coming from as a lifelong Windows user, it just feels more natural to me. But again, mileage will vary depending on the user. And then uh, on the back end of things, there's a lot of other things that make up the distribution, but I'm not going to go into those too much. There's display renders and then different bootloaders and those types of things. But for the most part, the bootloader is going to be something called Grub, and that's kind of like the boot manager in Windows. And then also there's display renders that actually display the graphics and you have a little bit of options in Linux over that. And usually that's between Xorg and then you also have Wayland. Now, which one's better? Typically I, I go Xorg is the proven one that most people use. Wayland's kind of like the new hotness on the market that's just not quite fully baked yet, uh, but it's getting there. So, uh, what that means for you is most times this is already decided, especially in the distributions that you'll start with. Again, Linux Mint and Pop! OS uh, pretty much use the Grub bootloader with uh, Xorg as its default for the display rendering. So with all that, you have those three parts of the distribution, but then past that you actually have the software. Now the software that comes with it will vary in most 
desktop environments have its own set of software. You have like with KDE, it's like Kmail and Kconsole. And with GNOME, you have the actual GNOME terminal and all these other ones. So you got this in that section. So uh, the, the software that comes bundled was, is actually pretty good. It's just learning all the different options you have is very tiresome. It's very difficult for a new user, especially from Windows, because typically you just launch Windows and you know you always have Windows Explorer. You always have the start menu where the start menu always is. You always have control panel in one spot. I know I can just hit the Windows key and R and pull up the run command and then just start going crazy. I know I can pull up Windows Firewall with WF.MSC. All these things are standardized on Windows, where in Linux, you have tons and tons of options. If you want different firewalls, you want all this, it's all completely different. And some Windows users are like, wait a second, on Windows, I can just install another file manager. I'm like, yes, but that one Windows Explorer file manager is always underneath it. You never remove it. Windows just full of bloat, where Linux, you were literally making your own uh, distribution or operating system per se. You get to choose all this. Now, if you install multiples, you can bloat up a Linux install just like you can bloat up a Windows install. The only difference is you have the choice to actually remove all the, the junk or the things that are right there. Now, personally, I always recommend doing just a minimal install of your distribution and then choosing each software package. But out of the gate, it's really hard to know what's what. So that's why I do recommend Linux Mint and Pop! OS. But this is just kind of a beginning intro to distributions and just kind of get your feet wet. I don't want to overwhelm you with a whole bunch of uh, technical jargon. I, I just want to give you an idea of what people mean when they say a Linux distribution. At the end of the day, there's a bunch of them and they all look different, but underneath it all, they all pretty much work the same. They just have different commands to interact with the different pieces in the system. And it's just learning that is the most difficult thing. And that's what we're going to do with this series in Linux basics. So that is the intro to distributions. In the next video, I plan on going more into the actual uh, look and feel, installing different desktop environments, and that way you can kind of see what the differences are. But with all that, let me know in the comments section, what would you like to see on the follow-up video? Again, this one was really meant for a beginner, someone that knows absolutely nothing about Linux and trying to explain some of these more complex terms. I know it's a very difficult thing to do, but one I'm going to keep striving for. So let me know how I did in the comments. And a big shout out to my patrons. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next video.